Hello, everybody, and welcome back. These are our English lessons for grade one high school. Our topic today is space food. My name is Livia Pribanic, and I will be your teacher in this lesson. U današnjoj ćemo lekciji kroz različite aktivnosti doći do završnog zadatka pisanje sažetka na temu space food. Za danas vam je potrebna bilježnica i pribor za pisanje, pristup internetu i malo dobre volje. Pa krenimo. In our lesson today, we will work through a KWL chart. Now please divide your notebook page into three columns. I know, I want to know and I learned. You will fill out these columns throughout the lesson and you will need it to complete your writing assignment. Are you ready? Let's start. They say, you are what you eat. What does this proverbial saying mean? You are what you eat. It means to be fit and healthy, but in order to be fit and healthy, you need to eat good food. Who says that? Who tells us what good food is? A dietitian? A nutritionist? A nutritional therapist? Yes, they are all experts on food and types of food we should eat and the amounts of each type of food that should be eaten throughout the day. This is what our experts advise. Do you know what this represents? Food pyramid, not the conventional one though, but still, let's discuss healthy food. What is food pyramid? It represents foods with the same type of nutrients grouped together. Following the recommendations of dietitians and nutritionists, we can have a healthy diet. Choosing the food we eat following the food pyramid will help us get the right balance of nutritious foods. So do you remember what is at the bottom of the food pyramid? Fruits and vegetables. Experts say we should have five to seven servings a day. Next, whole meal cereals, breads, potatoes, pasta, and rice. Experts say three to five servings a day. Next group is dairy products. We should eat or drink milk, yogurt, and cheese in three servings a day. Moving up, the amount of food becomes smaller and smaller. So what is in this line here? Meat, poultry, fish, eggs, beans and nuts. We need only two servings a day of this food type. Close to the top are fats, spread and oils. These should be eaten in very small amounts. And finally, the top of the pyramid are foods and drinks which are high in fat, sugar and salt. Experts say we should not eat this every day. Maximum it would be once or twice a week. It all sounds so simple, doesn't it? Let's just be sure we understand it all. Go through a list of words here. There are four words on the left and there are four definitions or synonyms on the right. Try to match the pairs, link the words. And the words are a diet, nutrition, well-balanced and serving. Are you ready? 
Let's start from the first word. A diet. What is a diet? Yes, it is the food that you eat regularly. What is a serving? An amount of food for one person. Remember, in the tips from our experts, we should eat five to seven servings a day of vegetables and fruit. Okay, well-balanced means healthy in this case. Yes, a well-balanced diet is healthy diet. And finally, nutrition or nourishment. Well done, guys. You are ready for next task. We are ready now for our space adventure. But before we fly off, think about all the food you eat in a day. Also, think about all the water you drink in a day. Do you have any snacks between meals? Try to picture the amount of food you actually eat throughout a day. Have you ever thought about astronauts and their food when they are up in the orbit? If this is their home now, they live in a space shuttle, do you think they pack much food? Do you think they cook food every day? What about the liquids? How much liquids can they take? Please pause the video now and complete column two of the chart. So the column I would like to know. You can write down all the questions you have. Maybe just keywords if that is easier. Complete the column before we move on. In our next activity, you will watch a video, but before, let us clarify several terms. Thermostabilized products, rehydratable food, irradiated products, and freeze-dried products. These terms refer to the type of food prepared for astronauts. Thermostabilized products are heat processed foods. It means that the food has been nearly cooked before put in a can or plastic cups and all they need to do before eating or consuming this type of product is heat it up. Rehydratable food is special food from which water has been removed. Irradiated products usually refers to meat. Steaks, for example, are cooked, packaged in flexible pouches, and sterilized by exposure to radiation. And finally, freeze-dried products have been processed at low temperature and dehydrated as well. I hope these explanations will make it easier for you to follow the video. While watching, please pay attention to several numbers. Two, 203, 500, 700, and 3000. Now watch the video carefully and enjoy. What we eat in space is very similar to what we have uh, down here on Earth. In fact, we have a nutrition lab that does a great job of putting together a very healthy, nutritious menu for us with a lot of variety. And so sometimes I think I may actually eat better while I'm up on space than, uh, than when I'm down here on Earth. My name is Monica Leong. I'm a research scientist here at NASA Space Food Systems Laboratory. I conduct research and development projects on future food systems um, for long duration missions and I also support the International Space Station food provisioning. 
The American food system has about 203 food items on the menu. Um, we try to give them foods that are familiar to what they would have here on Earth. So we make them mac and cheese, we make them beef brisket. Um, they get all sorts of stuff to make them feel comfortable because when you're in space and you're in a confined area with only five other people, you might miss home a little bit. So we try to make it as comfortable as possible with food. So how much water do I drink in space? Well, I don't know yet. I do know that down here on Earth, uh, I drink a lot of water. In fact, I always have my water bottle with me, um, and so I'm constantly drinking water, and I'm anticipating that that'll be the same up on orbit, but uh, it, obviously it can be a little bit different, and I won't have my water bottle. I'll have my water, little water bag uh, with me when I'm floating around, but uh, I do anticipate drinking lots of water while I'm on orbit as well. They are allowed about two liters of water a day for drinking, um, they are also allowed about 500 milliliters of water for um, rehydration of the freeze-dried food products. Um, we also expect that they get some water from the thermal stabilized products um, just to make sure they have a good, healthy nutrition up there. So our diet while we're up in space is actually managed by the nutrition lab and there are actually uh, experts in that field that uh, monitor everything that we eat, that understand all of the nutrition uh, that goes into every meal that we have. And so without them, um, our diet uh, wouldn't be as good as it is and wouldn't be as nutritious as it is. So when we're designing the menus for the astronauts in space, um, we have a dietitian on staff who makes sure that it's well balanced for all the vitamins and nutrients that they need. Um, they also eat about 3,000 calories a day, more or less, depends on each astronaut, but um, they're given a menu, a standard menu to guide them. Um, they don't have to stick with it, but we've set up food pantry styles, so they go in and just take what they want for the day. Um, here are some examples of the food, so we have beverages here. This is a mango peach smoothie. This is a cinnamon scone. Here are some black beans in a th thermostabilized pouch. They also get tortillas, which is actually a, a very hot commodity up there. Granola bars. Cream of spinach, for example, candy coated chocolates, crackers. We also have condiment packages for them. So we send them up things like ketchup, mayo, Tabasco, mustard. Um, they just, they, they often come back to us and said that the food doesn't taste the same in space as it does on Earth. Um, they also can't have regular salt, so we give them um, salt in a bottle. <laughs> Some of the research that I do here at NASA is for the Advanced Food Technology Portfolio. I'm doing research to characterize food systems for long duration missions, including for the ones going to Mars. One of the problems that we have is that the food can be really heavy, and they also can take up a lot of space. So one of the countermeasures to that is to develop um, a nutrition bar that can encompass all of the nutrients from a breakfast and lunch meal, or, or lunch meal, and put them into a food bar. Um, there's nothing like that in the market right now, but we developed 700 calorie food bars that can just be packaged into one pouch, um, so it'll minimize waste, and it'll be lightweight, and it'll be easy to eat, and it takes no time to prepare. We're looking at other technologies such as instant beverages to encompass all of the nutrients as well. Um, there are a lot of applications for this in the real world. Um, for instance, it could help with disaster relief, um, some temporary hunger relief, as well as for camping and survival foods. So this is an example of what a Thanksgiving dinner might look like on the International Space Station. So here we have, we have some smoked turkey, and it's actually an irradiated product that is produced for us by um, the military. Um, we have cornbread dressing, which is a freeze-dried item, and it looks like this at first, but once it's rehydrated, it looks just like normal cornbread dressing. Um, likewise, we have the green beans with mushrooms, which um, looks like this in its pouch. And then when you add water to it, it looks, it looks a lot like that. Um, here we have candy dams, which is a thermal stabilized product. So it comes in a pouch like this, and they just heat it up and put it right in the plate. Um, here we have mashed potatoes, which is very similar to the green beans and the cornbread dressing, where it's freeze dried and you just add water, heat it up, and it's ready. Um, we also have apple cider here, so this is what their beverages look like in space. For dessert, we have apples with spice, um, also a thermal stabilized product, comes in a pouch, just heat it up and serve. 
And another option for dessert would be the cran apple dessert product. NASA wishes you a happy Thanksgiving. Let's check the numbers first. Number two, it refers to liters of drinking water. Each astronaut is allowed two liters of water that he or she can use for drinking. 203 refers to the number of food items on the menu. 500 is the number of milliliters of water which astronauts use for rehydration of their food. 700 is the number of calories that NASA put in one food bar. And finally, 3000 is the number of calories an astronaut eats in a day. Here is the link for a quiz. Please copy the link into your browser. Be careful of the spelling and capital letters. Complete all the questions in the quiz and you will get the feedback on how well you understood today's lesson. Good luck with this one. And this is your final task. You will write a summary. When writing a summary, keep in mind that a summary needs to be concise, complete and clear. It means you will write only essential information about the topic that we discussed today. You also need to include all important information and it has to be understandable to the reader. Here are some useful expressions that uh, you may use. According to, remember, we have mentioned dietitians, nutritionists. Uh, you have also um, listened to two speakers from the video. You can always refer to their words. Also use verbs like claim, point out, explain, or state. Be very careful when writing a summary, you don't write any examples. Basic and only essential pieces of information. You will write only one paragraph. Start with the explanation of the topic. So clearly state what your summary is about. Then go on writing several sentences about the topic. Remember, we started talking about healthy diet, so please refer to that as well. And finally, you will finish with a conclusion. To help you with the task, here is a simple checklist. Please use this checklist before you send your writing assignment to your teacher. Good luck, stay home and stay safe and see you in the next lesson. Bye.